Good day, YouTube. Today's topic is I found out yesterday that I will not be able to extend on my current AGR tour. I signed up for a three year tour and it's going to end 31 May of 2018. So next year I have a one year and four months left approximately. It's good to know where I'm headed, in which direction I'm headed, because I wasn't sure how long I, I could continue on the AGR program. I was going to request an extension for an additional one year and four months. And the reason was, this would take me to October 31st of 2019. That way, if I didn't continue afterwards, I could still return to my civilian job. But my boss met with me yesterday and said that AGR positions are now going to be developmental, meaning you can do it for three years, you can learn, you can grow, you can do something different. And then after those three years, you have to find something else to do. That's exactly what happened to me. I have some time to think about what do I want to do in the summer of 2018 after I complete my current AGR tour. If you don't know what an AGR tour is, it is a you work for the Air Force Reserve, but you're on active duty. Here's what I do know. I'll be returning to my civilian job on Peterson Air Force Base next summer, 2018. And I have to decide, like I said in just a moment ago, that I have to decide, do I want to continue in the reserve or do I want to retire? I'm leaning one way. However, I'm not going to say what that is just in case because I have time to think about it. I don't have to make a decision right now and I'm going to look for another opportunity in the reserve, but it has to be a good job. If that's not the case, then I don't have a problem retiring, but I'm not gonna make that decision right now. On the civilian side, I'm going to return to Peterson Air Force Base, Airmen and Family Readiness Center, but it's time for me to grow and find a position where I can do something different, something that I enjoy, and also get promoted. I'm currently a GS-11 on the civilian side, and I'd like to get a GS-12 in Colorado Springs. It could be at the Air Force Academy, it could be on Peterson, maybe even Schriever. We will see. One thing that I do look forward to is the challenge of finding a new position somewhere. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. With the Air Force Reserve, like I said, we will see what, what happens with that as well. It's been a great ride. By the time the summer of 2018 comes, I'm going to have 22 years of active and reserve time combined, and I'll have just under 14 years of active duty time. It's been a great ride so far. I, I have the energy, I have the motivation, I have the interest to continue to serve in the Air Force, but now it's time for me to think about what is it that I want to do. For the first time in my life, I'm over 20 years of service as of now. And I could say, I'm good to go, that's it. Or I could say, it's time to do something different on the reserve side and continue. We shall see, I'll keep you posted. I have a few other topics of videos that I wanna talk about, but not today, it's a different video, different, different videos, different times. Have a great day, take care.